bowls that would be best to stencil on for this project. I knew I needed a bowl that had a, you know, not a real taper, that, you know, had a relatively vertical part of the bowl. I'm not sure how to describe that, as opposed to one that really tapered. Um, you know, we have a surface here, when you're stenciling, the more of an angle you have, the harder it is. So I wanted something that had as much as, you know, straight up and down here versus a taper. And these bowls by Dowan, this um, set of four mixing bowls by Dowan, D-O-W-A-N, fit the bill perfectly. Um, they were kind enough to send them to me along with this teapot, which would also, you know, has this relatively vertical drop here as opposed to a taper. You could easily stencil that. And they were also kind enough to send me this little butter dish. Um, put water in the bottom and it keeps your butter at room temperature, but also keeps it from getting rancid. And this lovely little fruit bowl. So I'm excited to work with these bowls and thanks to Dolan for sending me the material. So using my Cricut, I've cut out the words that I'm going to put on each bowl, then I'm going to stencil on each bowl, and I made the word get progressively bigger for the four different sized bowls. I cut my stencils out of just scrap vinyl, and uh, then I wanted my, my words to be about a quarter of an inch down from the top of each bowl, so I just marked that on each stencil so they would be equidistant down from the top. Then I went and I snipped the stencil all around. This is just to help it lay flatter on the bowls. These bowls, like I said, didn't have a bunch of taper, but they did have some. And it's just hard to get a, a stencil to lay flat unless you really cut in a lot of like easing, which is what I'm doing here. And peel it off and with all those little little snips in it it definitely makes it a little more difficult to peel it but the alternative of trying to snip it off you know after you've peeled it was even harder so and this isn't hard just take your time use your weeding tool Laying this stencil on the bowl is just a matter of kind of going slow and working all those little cut snips, those little easements down. Um, you know, your, your goal is to have as few air bubbles and to have that stencil as flat as possible on your bowl. So um, just take your time. Uh, that weeding tool is going to come in handy to just help you align those little snips. A razor blade came in handy to, you know, slice some of the bubbles or some of the folds to just get them to lay flat. Once you've got your stencil on, it's time to paint. And I'm using Tester's enamel paint in black. Um, I'm using a brush and uh, painting it on. I, I did try a sponge and found that it gave me a lot of little bubbles. It didn't make it quite as smooth. So I'm just using a paintbrush, going over it once or twice, making sure no white shows. And then I'm gonna let them sit for about three days to cure. Once that paint is cured, fun stuff, taking, the, taking your stencil off. And you can see there's some little areas around the L and the B that where the paint seeped a little. Um, that's not a problem. We're going to use a little bit of mineral spirits and get that off 
prior to, to baking, and we are going to be baking these next, but prior to doing that, just use your little bit of minimal spirits and wipe off any of those little areas where the paint may have seeped. Put your bowls in a cold oven, turn the oven to 300, let them bake at 300 for an hour, and then turn the oven off. The longer you can let your bowls sit before being put in the dishwasher, the better. Um, I found that five to seven days out of the oven really lets them cure well. So it's a good it's a good 10 day process between painting, letting the paint sit, and letting them sit well after baking. If you just plan accordingly, then you'll have bowls that are much more dishwasher proof than other ones. Thanks again to Dowlin for sponsoring this post and for sending me all of their lovely products. And if you want to see the full blog post about this, click the I in the upper right hand corner. And if you want to see more YouTube videos by Nurse Nestle, click the little nest in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.